Hey guys, we're back again, scenting characters. Today we're picking fragrances for all the Friends characters, all the main ones. So if you ever wondered what Monica would smell like or Joey would smell like, we're about to tell you. So really there's not much to say. Not really. I say we just get right into it. Yeah, we chose these together. So this time it's not like the Disney series where I present it to Julie and she chooses whether it's good or not. This time we worked and cultivated all of these fragrances together. So yeah, it was a combined effort. It was. Now that I know a little bit more about fragrances and, fragrances and I've smelt a few more, I, I actually kind of had more input as opposed to just like a guessing game. So yeah, it was actually fun getting to, to be involved in the picking process. Yeah, let's start. It's Rachel. Rachel's okay. number one. <gasps> Look at this sweater. I mean, this is just beautiful. Wow, this is really soft. $350? Down from $700? You're saving like 200 bucks. She is such a girly girl, right? She's into fashion. Um, she always wants to be recognized. She wants to be complimented. So she needed something that everyone knows, that everyone could recognize, that, that lots of people like, that is a very likable fragrance. We've chosen two fragrances for her. One that is a little bit more of like an everyday scent and then another one that would be more like her date night scent. So for her everyday one, we chose Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Yeah, this is just a flanker, but really it would probably be the original Light Blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just because it's such an easy to recognize, universally loved, well-known fragrance. It's a freshie, it's very versatile. A lot of people love it and it's it's pretty without like putting too much effort, which is exactly what Rachel is. She's pretty, she's likable, she's friendly without really like trying too hard. And it does get compliments. Guys do tend to like this. So this video has nothing to do with our personal opinions. No, nope. let me just put this out there right now. No. Nope. Yeah. It's, it's clean, it's crisp, it's, it's probably her signature scent. But when she goes on dates and she wants to be a little bit more flirty and she wants a little more razzle dazzle, we have Ralph Lauren Woman, which was also a fragrance we chose just because in the later seasons, she starts to work for Ralph Lauren. So that was a motivating factor. Yeah, it just worked for her. So this is more of, we think, her evening date night scent. Yeah, I feel like it would suit a pretty blonde. Like, it looks like a blonde fragrance. It does. You know what I mean? It does. It's almost like a bubble gummy, white floral, very flirty, very likable, very easy to wear. And very recognizable. And it is recognizable, yeah. yeah. So, these are the two that we chose for Rachel. Um, so, we're not doing like a compare or anything, just these are two of Rachel's scents. Mm -hmm. We have two for everyone. Yes. So, you can now describe Joey. Well, what I do is uh, I look a woman up and down and I say, Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Joey is my personal favorite character. He is just this like lovable ladies man. He's a struggling actor. He's like a little bit of a ding dong sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, it's adorable. It's, it's sweet, it's endearing and um, and girls seem to love him too. All girls love him. He is like, the the most lovable d-bag in all of television he i think. really is like you can't you can't be mad at joey about anything no you really he, can't he pulls one of his lines on you and you're like <laughs> okay <laughs> especially when he goes how you doing <laughs> so we went with two fragrances for joey right here one of them is boss bottled intense this is a panty dropper, but a budget panty dropper. This is delicious. This is sexy. This gets the ladies' attention, and it gets all the ladies' attention. It smells amazing. It is, and it is budget. It yeah. is so budget, which Joey needs because he's struggling. He's not getting a lot of jobs from Estelle. Doesn't call him too often. It's rough. Times are rough, but you're smelling sexy. Yes. Boss bottled intense. But then other times, if he wants to get a little bit more, like if he's going out, maybe going clubbing, if he can afford it, going somewhere that's not the coffee shop, we, well, I only have a sample, but Armani Code for men. It's, it's a common, lovable, kind of dumb reach going out fragrance. You know, I will spray this one. This one's also very sexy. It's a little bit more fresh and almost like it's a little less sweet than, than this one. It is. It's, it's more like Joey in the later seasons. Like kind of once he's mature. more... Yeah. Yeah. 
this is almost like more playful flirty mm -hmm. like, they're both great he alternates that would be him when he's like full on in his like dating like multiple women's a night and multiple, oh, yeah. multiple women a night um but this one's more like when he's just dating periodically or has like short-term girlfriends but yeah yeah both definitely joey so our two joey fragrances are boss bottled intense and armani code so our next character is Phoebe. Snowy cat, snowy cat, what are they feeding you? This chick sounds good. God, I love how sexy I am. <laughs> I think we all love Phoebe. We all Phoebe, love Phoebe is, she's just her own person. She wants everything to be unique. She wants everything to have a story. Phoebe is just your new age quirky kind of girl and she so like the way we kind of thought of it is she has to have something that the bottle has like a story or can have a story. The fragrance has to be something that isn't quite recognizable. We honestly thought that she would have a, like a fragrance that no one's ever heard of but smells good. But of course, we're not going to pick something that no one's ever smelled or no one's ever heard of because we want to, to choose something that you are, are all familiar with. So the one we chose is... All that being said, here's yeah. a fragrance you guys have never heard of. <laughs> Phoebe has to have a scent that is not mainstream. Like most people haven't heard of it. She wants it to be something that's unrecognizable. So one of the ones that we went with was Montana Perfume Dell which the bottle I think is very Phoebe. It's something she can put out and like it's part of her decoration. Yeah, it's quirky, it's art, it's a little weird. It's kind of beautiful. Yeah, so we're just gonna spray this one because I've only actually smelt it the one time. But I remember like smelling it and thinking this is Phoebe. Because yeah, it has, like it's got fruit, it's got floral, it's got woody notes. It smells smoky. It's got like a little bit of tobacco, but it also has yeah. like sweet juxtaposition like melon and hyacinth and elang. So you got these like sweet florals, but you got this mossiness. It's super hippy dippy. Yeah, like you have everything. And I feel like I remember it changing over time, which, you know, like it's like Phoebe. She's like, she just has everything. And then like the, the smokiness in it, it kind of reminds me of she likes to burn incense. She likes to burn candles. She's into all that. Yeah. And so it's just, yeah, it's very Phoebe. I don't know if you want to smell it. I can smell it for actually yeah. where I'm It's quite strong. <laughs> it's quite strong. I actually really like this fragrance. Yeah. I think it's very interesting. It's very interesting. It's likable. It's like Phoebe. It's very quirky. Yes. And the other one that we chose for her is Clinique Aromatics Elixir, which I don't have a full bottle of, but it is a very strong, herbaceous sort of floral scent. It has chamomile. So like if you think of like chamomile tea, those like herbs being in a tea store, being in like a little like, uh, like family owned little apothecary. That's, right? that's yes. what it is. It has oak moss too. Like Phoebe needs oak moss. Mm -hmm. She needs it. Um, that one's got geranium, carnations, a little bit classic smelling. It has everything. It's, it's a stronger, more like pungent. Like this one's a little bit softer. This one's a very friendly Phoebe day. Oh, and the Aromatics other one's not. Elixir is like Phoebe when she's got a little bit of attitude. So those are our two fragrances for Phoebe. If you can think of any other ones that you know are kind of off the beaten path that aren't as well mainstream that you think would suit Phoebe, please put it in the comments because... We, we kind of struggled with finding ones for her. We did. I think we did it. But still, comment. Let us know in the bleep bloops. Okay, so our <laughs> next character is Chandler. Chandler's my guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot if, if it's my turn or <laughs> turn. Okay, I don't sound like that. That is so not true. <laughs> that is so not. That is so not. That. Oh, shut up. Chandler, super quirky dude. Like, lovable awkward sarcastic charming smart he has a corporate job on top of all of that and uh he's he's hilarious he's like actually like in his awkwardness he's very charming very hilarious yes. so we thought okay he needs something that's gonna suit his career it's something that's low effort um fresh likable and probably something that he didn't choose for himself so the first one is Armani Eau Pour Homme. This is an old school classic. This actually allegedly also used to be Freddie Mercury scent, which I feel like is kind of like, is on theme for like the quirkiness of Chandler. Maybe his dad loved Freddie Mercury Maybe. and got him this. Maybe. It's possible. Oh, and this is God. like a, yeah, it's a herbaceous citrusy fragrance. It's masculine. It's a little bit old school, crisp, 
easy, like, not too common. Like, no. these for Chandler have to be not too common. So, this is his, I think, first fragrance of life. I think so. And I'm guessing he probably wore this until Monica chose one for him that she wanted him to wear. Right. And we figured that Monica chose for him Chanel Egoiste Platinum. She didn't choose Blue de Chanel. She didn't choose Allure Homme Sport because those are too mainstream. Those are like borderline too sexy for Chandler and like very well known. He didn't want those. He wanted Egoiste Platinum because it's a freshie. It's very likable. It's great for the work environment. It's easy easy on the nose, clean, crisp, fresh, yeah, low effort. And like it's it's a very mature scent, it I is. think, right? So he can wear it on date night with Monica. He can yeah. wear it to their wedding. He can wear it to work. He can like this is just super versatile. Yeah. So I think this would just be his scent once he's with Monica. That's she's probably <laughs> thrown out the Armani yeah. or given it to to, to Ross. <laughs> And this is now Chandler's scent. He has upgraded now to Chanel. Yes. Okay, so our next character, our last woman, is Monica. I've broken them down into categories, okay? Yeah. We have um, we got holidays, birthdays, candids, you know. Um, and then what I've done is I've cross-referenced them by subject, mm -hmm. right? So if you're looking up, let's say, um, birthdays and dogs, you get photo 152. Monica is a control freak. She is, like, Super controlling, super competitive, really OCD, uh, but high energy, very A-type personality. Oh yes, very controlling, but funny. She's funny. She is funny. She's a uh, she's restless. She's very restless. I feel like yes, and I mean like she's a clean freak, like she's a chef. So I, like just for her, everything has to be perfect. Yeah, and but in all of that, like I think like she's known to be the hot friend. Everybody thinks Monica's hot. Uh, every guy I know thinks that Monica's the hot friend. Really? Yeah. Every oh. guy I know thinks Monica's the hot friend. If you agree or disagree, again, leave a comment and let us know. Um, so that it had to be like a feminine fragrance because in all of her scuffle, she's very, like, very much a lady. Yes. I think. And very, like, proper. But I think she's a very uh, classy lady in that... She's not like she's not like the female version of Joey where she doesn't want to go out and just date to date. She is looking for that man to be her husband, the father of her children. So like she wants to wear a very like um like welcoming scent to get a good man to come after her, not one that's going to hint at I want a one night stand. Yeah, she's wearing a fragrance to attract a classy gentleman like Tom Selleck. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, yes. So that being said, <laughs> the two we picked for Monica are Narciso for her EDT, this beautiful, mm. sexy, mature, musky fragrance. Yeah. But when I say mature, I don't mean mature, like mature. No. I mean, it's classy. Yes. It's feminine. It's it's not for the, the youngins. No, and it's also, I wouldn't say it's for like your, like I don't think she would wear this when she goes to work as a chef. I think Probably this not. Is, this is more like... Her evening out, or even like when she's hanging out at, like around home with her friends, but it, it is a very classy, mature scent. I think this would be her date night scent, or yes. like special event scent. Yes. Yeah, I think her day to day scent would probably be Chanel Chance, just because it's a very easy, effortless. It's kind of like dry, woody patchouli scent with a hint of sweetness, but mm. it just like it just smells rich. I'm just spraying in the air. Yeah. It's it's very feminine. So nice. Again, like, not a lot of effort. You could easily wear this in a restaurant. Like, it's not too imposing. Yeah. It's, it just kind of, like, lingers, lingers around as a pleasant aura. Yes. And it smells rich. And I think also the fact that she wears Chanel, he wears Chanel, it just works out. We thought about this. <laughs> we did. So our last friend is Ross. The nerdy paleontologist that just seems to be super unlucky in love. <laughs> Ross, you okay? They're still, they're still not coming on, man. And the lotion and the powder have made a paste. Poor Ross. He just, he just wants to marry and stay married as opposed to having his three divorces. Um, so we see Ross as being like, I don't know, not too sexy, but like sexy enough because he does date a fair bit. He's not a bad looking guy. He's just He's a not. little boring. Yeah, and sometimes awkward. So one that we chose is 
Whispers in the Library, which we thought just suited his character as being like a professor, a paleontologist. It's just like a very welcoming, he's obviously a, like, he's gonna comfort you. It's, it just screams Ross to me. It is very Ross. It's like a, a soft, woody vanilla. Yeah. He's been spending his days in the library, in the museums, like, that it's, scent is on his clothing and it's, it's a comforting, soft, warm scent. Yeah, like it just seems like um, a man that you're going to want to settle down with at the end of the night, sit on the couch under a blanket and like curl up and watch a movie. And, and that's exactly what the second choice is too. Yeah, and so the second one we chose is Dolce Gabbana The One, mm -hmm. which again, it's not like, it's not the, the panty dropper that Joey has. It's just a very classy, like... It's more subtle sexy. It it's is, not like yeah. bam in your face. No, obnoxious. It, sexy. it is still sexy, but it is subtle. Can I spray this? Of one course, in there? yeah, please. Like, mm, it's just it's warm and inviting, and it's I think like what Ross is going for. Mm -hmm. And then again, Ross and Rachel, they have their matching Dolce and Gabbana, so I feel like it just jives. Mm -hmm. And then that's all our friends. So but we do have. We do have an honorable mention, and how could we ever forget Gunther? You can't. Gunther is the coffee shop, and for that reason, we chose Coffee Break. You it, have to. It just works for Gunther. So this is he only gets one because we think this is his perfect scent. And it's the one. Yeah. It's the one for Gunther. He's there's lavender, there's coffee, so it's like he's sprayed a little bit of regular masculine cologne, which would have lavender, and he's been in a coffee shop all day, which is Coffee Break. So. Yeah. There you go. And I like how you said the one because every Friends episode starts with the one. Oh, right? that was accidental. So this is the one that the Gunther one. wears. <laughs> the one that Gunther wears. <laughs> I love it. So that's it. We've sent it all our friends. If you guys have other fragrance suggestions for Friends, please comment down below. Let us know how you would scent these characters. We would love to hear. And that's it for today's character fragrance video. So yeah. this is how we think these friends would smell. Hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you found it fun. If you did, please make sure to hit that sub button, hit the notification bell so you stay tuned for any new videos coming up. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.